During photo and video post-production, image masking is a very powerful technique that can be the secret sauce to making the end result not just great, but visually stunning. There are many uses for masks. Local adjustments can be used to direct attention to an important part of an image, like increasing contrast ratios where needed, as well as to control the visual impact of elements that are more superfluous, all in service of developing a cohesive and powerful narrative for the viewer. Applying a mask to a photo once is okay, and you can get away with creating masks for static video shots. But once you have a clip where the camera is moving in relation to the scene and its subject, at this point, you are likely to want some automated help. This is where automated tracking tools come in, and Color Finale 2 Pro comes with a super handy area tracker. Watch this video to learn more about this tool and how you can begin using it to enhance your clips and save time. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Enable notifications to know about new videos as soon as they come out. Here's how to add a mask in Color Finale 2 Pro. First, create or select a layer such as color wheels. Right click on the layer, add mask. Right now, if you modify any parameters, the whole frame is affected. So the next step is to select what kind of mask to apply to the frame. This depends on the shape of the object and the purpose of the edit you want to make. Inside the masks menu, there are several shape mask options. Rectangle, ellipse, edge, useful for gradients, beast spline path, and bezier. You can add many masks to one layer. As well as these shape masks, there is an image mask and an HSL mask. Image mask lets you add a mask based on overall brightness of the underlying pixels. Initially, brighter pixels will be fully masked and darker pixels transparent. Such a mask could be inverted or a more narrow brightness range selected to get an interesting outcome. This technique of working with particular brightness ranges is often used by professional colorists to balance skin tones. Similarly, the other tool called HSL Mask also lets you select chroma, color, values to apply corrections to pixels of certain hues or saturation levels. When applying a shape mask, you will naturally want to move it into place, reshape or draw it over the image. Use the on-screen controls in the viewer. To see them, make sure you have the Color Finale 2 Pro Inspector selected, such that it's surrounded by a yellow border. Go to the beginning of the sequence you want to track. You can use the on-screen scrubber to do that. Draw a mask over the area you want to track. Press the Track Forwards button. Briefly wait until the tracker completes the process. Now, check out these examples of using masks and tracking. In this example, we have yellow and blue light leaking from the left and right edges of the frame respectively. Say we want to remove them. Here's how it can be done. It's useful to create a layer group first and call it something like the right side. We'll be making more groups in a bit, so it's useful to label our work. Add an edge mask over the right side of the frame. This will let us cover and remove the blue. Add a color wheels layer to the group, decrease the mask to gain and overall saturation. Also, fix the gamma. Create an HSL curves layer and use it to reduce saturation and luma. Use the color picker to select the blue. Now let's do the same thing to the left hand side of the image. Create another group and call it left side. Use the same tools. Because this clip is quite static, we don't need to track our edge masks.
Now, in this shot, to make the subject's face really pop, let's add a vignette. Create a third group called Center. Add an ellipse mask to track the talent's face. Smooth the edges and click track forward. Done. Now we can use a color wheels layer to draw more attention to the face. Now create one more color wheels layer and lower the highlights. Click Invert Parent Mask to apply changes to areas outside of the mask. Here's another interesting case where we need to fix a light leak on the left side of the frame. We have already created a look. So create a new group and name it left side. Add an edge mask on the left side. Track it forward. Now we can use color wheels and an HSL curves layer to color the white flaring. Done. Everything seems good, but maybe it's a good idea to also accentuate the blue of the tube light in the background. Create a B-spline mask around the tube. Track it forward. Feather the edges of the mask and choose the subtract mode to reveal the tube light. Done. Here we drew and tracked a B-spline path to mask the eyes and glasses to bring out a bit more detail in the area. Using false color, we can confirm that the window is dangerously in the red, assuming we have the dynamic range to recover some of the highlights, or just to bring them under 100 IRE. We can use a mask to cover the blown out areas and decrease the brightness with color wheels. If you want to try any of this out for yourself, download the free 7 day trial of Colorfinity 2 Pro. Tag us with your results. Thanks for watching this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.